Hi, so if you've just changed your, the battery in your Cat Eye Velo 8, uh, it, it's, it's probably going to be looking like this. And in order for it to be used with an in speed anemometer, and in this case a D, with a D3 rotor, um, you need to set the wheel size. And that's true with all the anemometers, it's just that you have a different wheel size for different rotor types. So this is how to do it. This is how to, to get the right uh, wheel size into it and calibrate it. So the first thing to do is decide if you want kilometers per hour or miles per hour. This mode button on the front will allow you to select miles per hour or kilometers per hour. In this case, what we're going to do is go with miles per hour. And then you turn it over in the back. And up here is a little gray button. Be careful about how you push this because if you push it at an angle, you can get it to go slide up underneath and it'll get stuck and you'll be in a world of trouble trying to get it back. So make sure you press on it straight. In, the case, in this case, just press on it straight quickly just for a dab and that'll bring you to the wheel size setting. Uh, these are a bunch of pre-canned uh, wheel sizes but we want to enter a custom one and in order to do that we need to press the mode button here three times. One, two, three. And that'll bring us to this flashing 205. That's where we do our custom wheel size entry. So what we're gonna do is press and hold this until the five starts to flash. And what we wanna do is we wanna make this 205 become 127. And that's true of this uh, D3 rotor. If you have a different rotor, a metal type or whatever, you may want a different wheel size. Consult the instructions for that. In this case, with a D3 rotor, it's 127. So we want to change that 5 to a 7. Just press it twice until it's a 7. And then we want that 0 to be a 2, so we need to press and hold the mode button until the 0 starts flashing. Press it twice, and then it gets to be a 2. Press and hold it again so that the first 2 becomes a flashing. Press it once. And uh, now it's 127, that's what we want. So we need to go in the back and press the uh, set button once quickly and it's ready to go. So now the uh, display is calibrated for a D3 rotor. And the thing to do is uh, pop it back into its clip and test it, make sure everything's good. So make sure it's clipped in well. And the way to test it is to just tap these wires together and I'll try to do this with one hand. If you just tap the wires together, see that? It'll produce, it should produce a reading. And once uh, you've got it so it's producing a reading, you know everything's good with the display. Just connect it back up to your anemometer and you're off and running. Have a wonderful day.